Hi, I'm Mayor G.T. Bynum. 2022 was an incredible year marked by historic economic growth and investment in our city. This last year, we hosted major events, beat out other cities for massive amounts of federal dollars to improve and create jobs, landed large employers and announced other plans to improve facilities and build out other attractions. And we showed our commitment to ensure everyone in our city is given the opportunity to succeed and get help when they need it. In 2022, we hosted major events. In fact, it was the largest tourism year in Tulsa history. On one weekend alone, we hosted the PGA Championship and Ironman Tulsa. We also brought the statewide FFA convention, the largest statewide convention in Oklahoma to Tulsa for the very first time. We made major federal investments in the city of Tulsa by working collaboratively as a region to compete with cities all around America. And we won and we brought these to Tulsa. These federal investments include $39 million for an advanced mobility cluster, $50 million for wastewater infrastructure in East Tulsa, thanks to the state of Oklahoma's allocation of their American Rescue Plan Act funds, $10 million for the uh, 51st Street area around Highway 75, which U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg himself came here to Tulsa to announce. We also attracted a $50 million investment from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, which the Secretary of HUD came here to Tulsa to announce. This will go to the Envision Comanche Project, which will help transform that area of North Tulsa. When it comes to investment in our community, at a local level and an economic development level, we had a historic year. We broke ground on building the new Gilcrease Museum, funded both by Tulsa taxpayers and by donors. Tulsans own the greatest collection of American art and history west of the Mississippi, and we are now going to build a museum worthy of that collection. We also move forward on a historic planning project for the Greenwood Kirkpatrick Heights area. It's the area just north of the immediate downtown vicinity. Uh, if you think about the area just north and just west of OSU Tulsa, and then to the east of that, the Evans Fin Tube site, we went through a planning process led by North Tulsa community leaders to determine the highest and best use for these locations. We also opened the Discovery Lab, uh, which is uh, the Tulsa Children's Museum along the Arkansas River. Uh, this is another historic investment in our community made by Tulsa voters. We opened uh, the new 222 North Detroit Tower in downtown Tulsa, uh, built by Devon Energy. It is one of the most beautiful large new office buildings in recent Tulsa history, and it gives us an economic development edge because we can attract new businesses into this ready-to-made uh, space. We opened the Bob Dylan Center. We had people from all around the world come to Tulsa to open the Bob Dylan Center, housing the Bob Dylan Archives in the Arts District here in Tulsa. And we opened USA BMX's National Arena and Hall of Fame and headquarters in the Greenwood District of North Tulsa. We also announced that the national retailer Shields is coming to Tulsa, investing $132 million into their facility in Woodland Hills Mall. This will be a regional retail destination as Shields has seen in all their other locations around the United States. A significant percentage of all their customers come from over 50 miles away and this will bring more and more people into Tulsa. The City Council and I passed the largest budget in Tulsa history that represented historic pay increases for all city employees but in particular, the largest pay increase in Tulsa Police Department history and the largest pay increase in Tulsa Fire Department history. Both of these uh, designed to make us competitive as a city for bringing the best public safety employees to serve the citizens of Tulsa. We also are investing in a real-time information center. This will bring 21st century technology and put it in the hands of the men and women in the Tulsa Police Department. So when they are in the field, 
They will have video technology guiding them to suspects and to victims that need help more accurately and efficiently. When it comes to street projects, we invested $46 million in street projects across the city, including six major street projects that were completed. We also moved forward on the most expensive street project in Tulsa history on Yale Avenue between 81st and 91st. We also invested in park facilities across the city. One of these that is of particular uh, excitement for me is the new playground at Whiteside Park that's being designed and built specifically so that children of all abilities can have a world-class experience side by side. We also built a new trail system at Bales Park in West Tulsa that has a USA BMX bike riding component to it. Uh, and I wanna thank the team at Bike Club here in Tulsa for helping spearhead that effort alongside the team at Tulsa Parks. We also opened Station 33 in East Tulsa, filling a very sorely needed gap in our response times for the Tulsa Fire Department. This is our newest station uh, for the Tulsa Fire Department, the first new station we've built in over a decade. And of course, when you think about public safety in Tulsa in 2022, we cannot help but think about the tragedy at St. Francis Hospital and the way that first responders from throughout the region responded to that incident collaboratively and courageously to save the men and women who work on that campus every day to save the lives of our fellow Tulsans. In 2022, I also announced plans in the year ahead for us to open a low barrier shelter. So many of the folks that you see on the streets in Tulsa are there because they have nowhere else to go. A low barrier shelter will create a place for people who need uh, shelter to go to. And then the Tulsa City Council and I have launched a task force to evaluate all the ways that the city of Tulsa can be more helpful to the broader Away Home for Tulsa coalition that is working to comprehensively address homelessness in Tulsa. These are just some of the things that happened in 2022. There are exciting things happening right now in Tulsa, and I want to thank everyone for supporting our city of Tulsa team. I want to thank everyone who is making Tulsa the best city that it can be.